Hey guys, this is Peter, and today I'm taking a look at the Byte 3. It's a new set-top box by Azul. And, well, you may recall that Azul makes set-top boxes that run Windows. So they run the Windows 10 operating system, and some of them are absolutely incredible. Like the Inspire that I viewed a couple weeks ago, I reviewed it. It had all of the limitations that we ran into in the past, where it had a fixed amount of DRAM and a fixed amount of storage. Well, the Inspire changed all of that. You populated it, because it had no DRAM, with an SO DIMM, and now you can control 4 gigs, 8 gigs, 16 gigs, even up to 32 gigs worth of memory. That was cool. It also didn't come with any storage. You could populate it with an M.2 drive or an SSD, uh, and that would allow, well, I guess an M.2 is an SSD, whether it was a SATA form factor or an M.2 PCIe form factor, it handled them both. But that made it a little bit pricey as it you know, added things to it, including a Windows operating system. This one is called, well, the Byte 3, and it's kind of like the little brother to that. It does have an Intel processor. It has, uh, it comes with Windows. It has you a fixed amount of memory, whether you get the 4 gig or the 8 gig. Uh, however, look at this. It starts at 199 for the 4 gig, which is plenty. It has the 32 gig partition that has Windows on it. Now, my only gripe about this is 32 gigs for Windows 10 is just about the, uh, the minimum of what you're going to be able to do. This is a PC. It'll do all sorts of things. So you really want to be able to embellish it and add things to it just more than just Kodi or Netflix or something like that. You want to add a number of different things to it. So my big gripe was, yeah, I can add another drive, but my C drive where all the applications want to go is limited to 32. Now it is true that you can tell the Windows operating system install to the D drive, which everything worked beautifully. However, I wanted the entire partition to be on another drive. Oh, and so as long as we had a Windows Pro license, I wanted to move that over. So I called the folks at Azul and they said, yeah, you can copy that partition, that drive, to your other drive and switch to boot. And I did that. So uh, there is a program out there by Isus. I'll put a link to it. Uh, they have a, a thing called Toto, which means all in Spanish, Toto Backup. Toto Backup was great. It even has a trial version that allowed me to do this because it's a 30-day trial. I don't need 30 days. It did a wonderful job and copied that partition. I just went to the BIOS and switched the drives. So now I had an external drive, well, an internal SSD, 500 gigabytes, that I was booting to. However, the partition, the logical partition that it created because it was a pure backup, was only 32 gigs. So now I wanted to be able to stretch that partition from 32 gigs up towards my 500 gigabyte drive. Guess what? I talked to the guys over at Isus and I said, will your product do that? The answer is no. However, they do have another program called Partition Master that would do the trick. And I tried Partition Master and guess what? All I had to do, since I now had a C drive that was my 500 gig, only 32 gigs of it. A D drive, which was my 32 gig internal EMMC memory that was here. All I had to do, since I had a perfect copy of that 32 gig drive on my D drive anyway, is delete the restore partition so that my boot partition and the empty space were next to each other. And then Partition Master was able to stretch that 32 gig partition on my 500 gig drive and I stretch it all the way to 300 gigs. I stopped there because I wanted to make another 200 gig partition. So now I have a C, 300 gig bootable. I have a D, that's the EMMC, that's my original uh, factory install kit, if you will, uh, just as a backup. And my E, which is 200 gigabytes worth of additional storage. Maybe I'll use that for recording TV shows, what have you. Now I was able to take the program I really wanted, which is Windows Media Center, which wants to be on the C drive, boot to the drive, have Windows Media Center on there with plenty of space. Now I know what you're thinking. Would that program work with other PC boxes? Well, I've talked about this one in the past. This is the Azul Byte Plus, a very capable box, 
I had one with the two gigs worth of RAM. It ran nicely. The biggest problem I had with this box is I ran out of space. So I started to think, could I possibly do that same trick with this SATA drive on a pigtail? And guess what? I was able to copy the partition over, make this the bootable drive, and then use the same trick with Toto Backup and then Partition Master. And now I can boot to this drive, the full drive, and install all the programs I want on it. Really cool trick, but for this, for this video, I want to stick to this and show you all the benefits of this. This has some wonderful ports on it. We have three USB 3.0 ports on here. One, two, and a third one. There is also a USB 2.0 port on there, which is great for my controllers like this. Pretty cool. And it also, I tested this out, has a type three connector right there. So I took what a little dongle I have laying around with a micro SD sticking out of it, plug that in and guess what? I have two more ports and a micro SD reader. I do have an SD reader as well but I already had one of those. So there you go. It's a pretty cool little device and I was able to do all, let me show you what I was able to do with it. Let's take a look. All right, well, of course I ran Cody from it and I put my build on there and everything worked beautifully. In fact, it worked so well that I realized that there was something going on with my Nvidia in the other room and uh, I had to go through and dig that up because yeah, the TV tuner was working beautiful. Uh, everything was streaming nicely. And yeah, I did find out some issues and how to clean Cody a little bit better because uh, everything works so well on this. Well, here's, let me go ahead and show you some uh, some games. Of course, I ran one of my favorites, which is that uh, the flight game that I've shown before. This is an absolute riot. If you've ever flown RC planes, this thing just kind of, uh, well, it gives you the exact same feeling. And uh, you just get to do aerobatics and basically fly several thousand dollars worth of planes, which is total reckless abandon because it's not your plane. So you just don't have to worry about it. Uh, of course, solitaire with the air mouse is a more fun than you can uh, you can imagine. It's because you can sit on the couch and just move the uh, the remote around like a wand. It really kind of makes it fun, and I think it's more fun than uh, than before. So I, I know that people that are a lot of people are into solitaire, and this is my favorite way to play it because you just move things around. But it'll also work with other things. So this is a game called Chicken Invaders. It's one of my favorites on the PC. You know, so people say, will it run games? And that's really a loaded question. If you need an NVIDIA card to run the particular game, or you need an ATI card, or you need 16 gigs worth of RAM, then this probably isn't going to run that. But if there are a tremendous amount of games and applications that will run beautifully with this amount of data. All right, well, I also took a look, of course, at, um, at well, this, this is Amazon Prime. I wanted to make sure that this, as well as Netflix, uh, will both played beautifully. So I just pick a movie, and I'm able to just launch it right onto my TV set. So you can search the web, and that works beautifully, and you can just play your movies. Windows Media Center, I loaded that as well. Of course, now that it's on the C drive, it works beautifully because I can, of course, watch live TV and even choose to record it here i'm going to record this show as i'm watching it and i'll be able to hit it up later and come back and watch it so as you can see it is being recorded and i'm going to kick out of this and i'm going to go back to well recorded t well uh, there is a programming guide and that comes for free that's one of the uh, main reasons to run this media center is uh the programming guide, the ability to record TV. Here's the recorded programs, and as you can see, I got the Late Show and uh, some other manual recording just randomly. So if I click this, it will play what I've recorded. Oh my God, where's the rest of it? <laughs> and uh, then I can go and check out the the other one. There we go. We've recorded this one too. You can delete them from here. You can choose to record them from here. This is both your uh, your front end client as well as your back end server. So it's really cool just to have a Windows box that does both. And as you can see, there's the program that I'm recording right now, also there. 
really cool to have Windows Media Center back, and it's free. So uh, I was also able to get my webcams up. This was really beautiful. I wanted to look across town. I surfed on the other side of town today. Four to six feet. It was kind of nice. A little more inconsistent than I wanted. Let me pull up a different cam. Same spot. Not nah, completely different color. <laughs> but as you can see, a little bit crowded out there today. Less crowded on the other side of town. But uh, yeah, it doesn't even look that big. But it feels big when you're out there. So there, you could do uh, webcams. You could do all sorts of things you just can't do on an Android box. My Ring doorbell is another one. You can talk to Google, and I'm able just to search for things. I searched for the Constitution of the United States, and boom, came right up. What an excellent resource. And, of course, this is a PC, so I can print to it as well. Here, I'm going to do another one. The hunters and gatherers of the Middle East. And look at how well it, it goes ahead and grasps everything that you say. So these remotes are excellent. They have good microphones in them. And there, if, I, if this was a resource that I wanted to be able to print, that's not a problem. You can go ahead and print right from there. So I'm able to help the kids do their homework without leaving the couch. We all know how important networking is, and I've got some of the best networking scores that I've ever got. You can see I briefly touched 230, which is my maximum, even on my own desktop. Uh, the Ethernet plugged in directly is actually, uh, it looks like it's 100 megabit, but I was hitting much higher. So that's your gigabit on the back end. I did go ahead and check out Netflix because that's incredibly important. So uh, remember, I checked out Amazon. Well, I also checked out Netflix. Make sure that worked. I checked out YouTube. I checked out everything. This is a pretty cool little way to... Uh, well, it's an excellent set-top box because it will always be a PC. So there you go. Um, I was able to pull in all sorts of programs and launch them beautifully. So, I mean, between Kodi, Amazon, and Netflix, and just about any other program you wanted to run, you can stream just about anything. Ooh, here's a picture, actually. A beautiful picture. Check this out. This is kind of weird. Uh, it's just bees. So beautiful little documentary showing uh, bees closer than you ever wanted to be. <laughs> no pun intended. But uh, and I can zoom ahead. Of course, it's a PC. It has beautiful resources. If you have Cody's buffering problems, PCs have so much more resources. And those resources are dynamically allocated. Uh, so it, it does a beautiful a job. It just has more space. It has more ability to run this kind of stuff. Well, there you go, guys. Well, this is a quick wrap up for you. I really do like the Byte 3. I think it's excellent. Four gigs worth of a RAM is enough for my set top box needs. And the fact that I can put in a 500 gigabyte SSD and boot from it and just get rid of all those partition issues and just boot and store and even run Media Center from it. That is fantastic. They do have a price here that confused me for a second. 179 well, if you kick out the operating system because you don't need it, it drops to 179 But otherwise, it's the same price over on Amazon. I'm going to put a link to it. Go ahead and take a look over there. That would be fantastic. It would, of course, help me out if you did. But uh, the nice thing about buying from Amazon, any issues, you can just uh, return it right away. Uh, and I don't think you'll have any. But uh, here, take a look. They have a lot of little bundles over on Amazon that are kind of neat. Here's the box by itself, but you can also get the box with a, a camera. Let's see, I saw a good price in there. Look, that's a $100 camera, and though that's a really nice keyboard. That's a Logitech keyboard. You can also get it with their remote and a camera. There we go. There would be the 4 gigabyte version. So take a look at those. Some of those are, make some really good ideas. Um, I like it a lot. All right, guys, there you go. Uh, thanks so much for watching. I do really like this box. I think if you're going to have a PC, if you have a TV tuner and you want to record, this is an excellent way to do it. If you want to have a PC and do some voice search, excellent again. Hey, guys, give this video a thumbs up, and um, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Talk to you soon.